unexpected Sunday night plans, anybody? Well, I would like to go in, but it's locked. At least I have a view. Just patiently waiting for my friends to come save me. It's fine. They can't find me. They're looking around inside right there. They just passed by, but they couldn't find me. <laughs> I just saw you guys walk by. I'm like, oh. The one with the BBLs? No. Wait, you don't want to What? Oh, no. Everyone is so focused. <laughs> I'm pulling up super late to mom and dad's for dinner this evening. But that's okay. Because I know it's on the other side of that door. <laughs> well, it is a rainy day in sunny Southern California, and I am a okay with it. It's been a really nice winter season, I feel like. It hasn't been too stormy, hasn't been too dry. It's been like perfectly mix of wet and cold and kind of like how winters should be you know weird and it is nearly 7 a.m so i need these and i also need this because today i'm going back to the gym i've been going pretty consistently still which is good but alas it is still not a day that i will be running um my my heel my foot is getting a lot better but it's still a little bit uncomfortable and i don't want to push it too much and chance it so i probably won't run again until next week and for today i just have the gym and then later tonight um my sister's significant other is actually going to be performing in a, a performance because that's what you do in performances is you perform and it's live stream, so I might just watch the live stream, or I might be able to go out there. I'm just not sure if you need like tickets or anything, so I'll have to figure that out. For now though, gym time. And of course we can't forget to feed the little ones. <laughs> Hello? So one of my goals for this year is to get better at doing pull-ups. And I formed this bad habit. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad, but you tell me. I formed this bad habit of doing pull-up reps after I do all my other back and bicep exercises. So part of me is like, yeah, that's good. I mean, then you're, you know, you're almost to the point of exhaustion and then try to train your muscles to do like more pull-ups when you're already tired. So psychologically, it kind of like boosts me to be able to keep 
doing better at it and like have that be a factor like I've already done everything and I'm still getting better at this thing at the end of the workout but <laughs> what's gonna psychologically mess me up is when I'm like hmm, let's try doing them at the beginning one day and then I can't even do like like I only do as many as I can do at the end because that would totally happen to me and I mean you know I would still be happy with that because I started off just doing one and then you know now it's to the point where I'm doing more and that's awesome I am headed home though it is actually like beautiful outside now it was supposed to be a rainy day but it's like blue skies some clouds it's still wet everywhere but it's, it's a looking like a beautiful day so I hit up my friend who uh, who I've seen a couple of times in the past month or so to see if he's gonna stop by his favorite local little coffee shop uh, to go and work because that's usually where he hangs out and turns out he is so I'm gonna go home get myself cleaned up and then go meet a friend for some coffee that's really the only time I drink coffee anymore now is I I love coffee I still love it but I haven't been drinking it at work I haven't I've only made it at home like once in the past two months but I've just been kind of saving it as like a special occasion kind of thing because I feel like I would rather drink coffee and be with friends or like be out somewhere or something because it like gives me like an extra energy boost that just I do not need when I'm at work or when I'm at home. I know that might sound strange like you don't need an energy boost at work. No I do but I don't know coffee like affects me pretty significantly and like it always has and it's just you know I've been okay with that but I kind of realized like I'd rather have more control like when I'm at work and at home and like be more like chill than have like extra energy where I you know I'd rather have that during fun times rather than like monotonous or like chill times. So I'll stop yapping and uh, I'll show you guys a little little sneak of the of the coffee shop. Hold on. As you can see, I'm getting out just as it's starting to really come down. <laughs> Started off the day expecting it to be a rainy day, and then it was sunny blue skies, and now the rain has arrived. But it was super nice to meet up with my friend and just kind of hang out, catch up see where we're both at career-wise and life-wise and the next time we hang out we're gonna meet out meet up at my favorite coffee spot we've been meeting up at his favorite coffee spot but uh, next time is my turn and for those interested we've got not just one flower now we got two there's a turn of events uh, so actually a friend that I was going out next week traveling to see is here this week where I am uh, and he's pretty close by, so I am gonna go out and hang out with him and meet him in person for the first time. And this is actually a friend that I met through doing Twitch. Um, so being online, live streaming, he tuned into my stream like nine years ago. And this is, he's out here in town uh, visiting. So I'm gonna go and hang out with him for the first time in person. Not something I expected today, but uh, a pleasant surprise. And here we are again, prepping for the final stop of the night. And it was nice getting to catch up with my friend that came in from out of town. Um, meeting him for the first time in person and actually like getting together three of the people that are going to be a part of the big trip happening next week. But I'm going to save that for next week when I go. And you guys will see all about that. Tonight, we go into a performance. I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture anything on here, so if I can't get any clips, then the next one you'll see will be tomorrow. So this should be nice. My, uh, my sister's boyfriend is performing in an opera performance for uh, at his college, and so I'm going to go check that out. And uh, I don't know, am I supposed? Are you supposed to dress up? I just assumed that that's what you do. So hopefully, I'm not the only one. Okay. So you are currently precariously perched between my dishes that are drying, but that's okay. It is Sunday now, though, 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and just wrap up this video with one more thing. If you recognize this book, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yesterday was an action-packed and fun-filled day. Um, went from having one plan to having three and got to hang out with a variety of friends, got to see an amazing performance. And um, today has been a nice, slow, long day. So what better way to finish it off than with a whiskey sour? Now in the book, it says that the whiskey sour in mid-century, which I guess was like in the mid-century of 18 to 1900, that whiskey sours were actually served with like a top of claret wine, red wine. I don't have claret wine, but red wine. So that's how I'm going to make it. It calls for one wine glass, two ounces in this case, of whiskey, half a wine glass or one ounce of water, one tablespoonful of sugar, half of a lemon, and then we're going to put that all together. Now, the way it says to do this with the wine is to have a spoon flipped over, so the back of the spoon is up, and then to gently pour an amount over the back of the spoon, so it just kind of evenly goes across the top of the drink. We're going to see if I can do it. <laughs> it only calls for a half ounce of this, so I think I'm actually going to take two spoons and do it that way. Moment of truth. Oh, I spilled it on the. I spilled it on the towel. It's fine. It's fine. I got this. Right there. Well, that that didn't that that didn't really work. It looks like it worked from your angle because it poured to the front of the drink. Um, <laughs> but if I flip it around. It worked on this half, it just didn't work on the back half. But, uh, I mean, hey, it, it looks cool from that side, so we're just going to pretend that, hey, great success. And if I would have actually paid attention to what I read, it says, hold the, the upside down spoon at the meniscus of the drink. Obviously, I was, I was way above that. But, cheers, let's give it a taste. Ooh. That is definitely sour. I tell you, man, like the, the recipes that they have for punches and anything that has citrus in it with the lemon juice, they're like, use half a lemon. I might try like a quarter of a lemon of juice in the next one, because I feel like half a lemon is just like, you're asking for it. This is really nice. You can like kind of get the acidity of the wine in there as well. And uh, I like it. Whiskey sour. And it is only like 3 p.m. I'm watching some Life of Tom on YouTube. Got my drink now. Uh, so I'm just going to chillax for the remainder of my day. Because like I said, it's felt like a very slow day. And I'm not mad at that. After the the amount of stuff I did yesterday, uh, it's definitely welcome. So this is going to do it for this video, this vlog. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And uh, next week is going to be a big deal because I'm traveling out to Texas to go visit the friend that was in town yesterday um and it's it's gonna be for his birthday so um a group of four of us is gonna that that we all met through well I met one of them outside of Twitch but all together you know we met through Twitch um we're gonna go out there and I'm gonna be there for I'm gonna be gone for six days like five and a half days and it's going to be a great time. We have some things planned. I'm not going to give anything away right now if I haven't already but I'll definitely be you know, recording as much as I can, as long as each of them is okay with it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe the next vlog will be another one of those, like, clip compilations, rather than, like, me sitting here talking to you. It'll just be, like, just clips of, of everything that I do. So, thanks for watching. Have a lovely uh, rest of your weekend. I hope that the week ahead of you has good things in store for you. And um, I will see you guys next time. Toodaloo!